dear students we have discussed war and vcm by considering two examples in the previous classes in the first class we have considered one co-integrating equation in two variables with the one lakh in the second example we have considered two co-integrating equations in three variables again with the one lakh now in the present session we extend our analysis by including more lakhs of the variables that is we initially we consider two variables with the one co-integrating equation with the two lakhs each then we generalize it into k variables with the p lakhs each with the p lakhs each so let us first consider the two variable bivariate is e delta y1 p is equal to minus 1 by 2 y1 t minus 1 minus 1 by 8 y2 t minus 1 plus 1 by 8 delta y1 t minus 1 plus 1 by 4 delta y2 t minus 1 plus epsilon 1 t and delta y2 t is equal to 1 by 2 y1 t minus 1 minus 1 by 8 y2 t minus 1 plus 1 by 4 delta y1 t minus 1 minus 3 by 4 delta y2 t minus 1 plus epsilon 2 t in matrix form this is equal to delta y t is equal to pi y t minus 1 plus gamma 1 delta y t minus 1 plus epsilon t where pi is equal to alpha beta transpose is equal to now alpha is minus 1 by 2 1 by 2 beta transpose is 1 minus 1 by 8 so that pi matrix is equal to minus 1 by 2 1 by 16 1 by 2 minus 1 by 16 and gamma 1 is equal to as you can see 1 by 8 1 by 4 then 1 by 4 minus 3 by 4 minus 3 by 4 now in this model logged terms delta y1t and delta y2t are added this is to ensure that epsilon 1t and epsilon 2t are white noise to overcome the problems of omission of variables here lagged terms 
and uh, it is assumed that there is a linear combination of y1 and y2 that is given by y1t minus 1 by 8 y2t in the long run that is the co-integrating relation the co-integrating parameters are 1 and minus 1 by 8 and the adjustment coefficients are minus 1 by 2 and 1 by 2. Now by expanding the first equation the corresponding work can be written as y1t is equal to pi by 8 y1t minus 1 plus pi by 16 y2t minus 1 minus 1 by 8 y1t minus 2 minus 1 by 4 y2t minus 1 plus epsilon 1. You just expand the first one you will get uh, this. From the second, you will get uh, y2t as equal to 3 by 4 y1t minus 1 plus 3 by 16 y2t minus 1 minus 1 by 4 y1t minus 2 plus 3 by 4 y2t minus 1 plus epsilon 2t epsilon 2t from the second. Now in terms of in terms of work we can write it as yt is equal to pi yt minus 1 plus gamma 1 the, sorry plus pi sorry pi 1 yt minus 1 plus y2 y t minus 2 plus epsilon t using matrices and vectors this is the work representation of ECM in two variables with the two lags of each y1 and y2 t minus 1 y1 and y2 t minus 2. Now here pi 1 is equal to as you can see pi 1 is equal to 5 by 8 3 by 4 then 5 by 16 3 by 16 pi 1 then pi 2 is equal to pi 2 is equal to minus 1 by 8 minus 1 by 4 minus 1 by 4 and 3 by 4 3 by 4 and remember this as we have discussed in the previous classes ECM is a reparameterization of work so let us see what is the relationship between the parameters of work and ECM. You can do this. Pi is equal to, pi is this pi. In the ECM is equal to pi1 plus pi2 minus i. Pi1 plus pi2 minus i. Similarly, this gamma1 is equal to minus of pi minus of pi 2 is gamma 1. So this is the relation in the war model war VECM with the two lakhs. If there was, there was only one lakh then pi was equal to pi 1 minus i pi was equal to pi 1 minus i then as there was no pi 2 in the first order case this delta yt was pi yt minus 1 plus epsilon t 
corresponding y was y t is equal to pi 1 y t minus 1 plus epsilon t. So this is the relationship between the parameters of y and that of p e c u. Now we generalize this. Now we consider a p th order y. We generalize it to a p th order y given by y t is equal to pi 1 y t minus 1 plus pi 2 y t minus 2 plus etc. pi p y t minus p plus epsilon t. This is reparameterized as an easy. Delta y t is equal to pi y t minus 1 plus gamma 1 delta y t minus 1 plus gamma 2 delta y t minus 2 plus etc. gamma p minus 1 delta y t minus p minus 1 plus epsilon t plus epsilon t and uh, as you can see when we reparameterize y into v is here, there is a reduction in log here, p minus 1. And pi is equal to pi 1 plus pi 2 plus pi 3 plus, sorry, pi 3 plus etc. pi p minus i. Just a generalization of this. Pi is equal to pi 1 plus pi 2 plus pi 3 plus etc. pi p minus i. And gamma 1 is equal to minus of, remember this gamma 1 is minus of pi 2. So minus of pi 2 plus pi 3 plus etc. pi p. And gamma 2 is equal to minus of pi 3 plus pi 4 plus etc. pi p. And, and gamma p minus 1 is equal to minus of pi p. Minus of pi p. And this is the relationship between parameters of y and v is here. Pi is equal to this gamma 1, gamma 2, gamma p minus 1. Now, and uh, remember this, this is based on a numerical example. And this numerical example is constructed in such a way that there is only one co-integrating relation. One co-integrating relation. And if you want to check whether this is true or not, whether this is true or not, consider the pi matrix, the pi matrix which we have considered. For the pi matrix, the eigenvalues are v1 is equal to 0, v2 is equal to minus 9.16, minus 9.16. Now, as it is clear, and as we have discussed earlier, the rank of the matrix is equal to the number of non-zero agent values. In this case, one agent value is non-zero, one is zero, so the rank is <coughs> one. There is a reduction in rank by one. So because the example is constructed like that. 
But when we take uh, actual data, we have to estimate the number of co-integrating vectors. This is only an example to clarify the points. Now, pi matrix is alpha, beta, transpose. And as we know, alpha has the order k by r. And beta is also k by r. Beta transpose is r by k. So, k by k is the order of the pi matrix. k by k is the order of the pi matrix. Now, let us denote the rank of pi that is equal to the rank of alpha theta beta transpose as equal to r. Rank of pi equal to rank of alpha beta transpose is equal to r. Now, r is the column dimension of alpha. r is also the column dimension of beta. Column dimension or the raw dimension of beta transpose. Now, in general, r will be less than or equal to k greater than 0. And uh, this is a point which we will discuss later. If r is equal to 0, then the rank of pi is 0. r is 0, there is no co-integration. Co-integrating rank 0 means there is no co-integration. r can be equal to k. R, can, R is equal to K means the model is stable, stationary in level itself. There is no need for any, uh, there is no need to convert R into PECU. So the most interesting cases are R lie between 0 and K. Sorry, R, R uh, lie between 0 and K minus 1. R between 0 and k minus 1. So, this is based on a numerical example only, but when we take actual data, we have to estimate the rank of the pi matrix. The rank of the pi matrix is the number of co-integrating relations. Suppose that uh, you have three variables. Then if rank is of pi is equal to 2, then we, have, we, we say that there are two co-integrating relations. If, if rank is equal to 1, the reduction in the number of rank is 2, so there is only one co-integrating relation like that. So always remember this, this is the general case. And uh, this is the first case we have considered, the second case we have considered, and this is the general case.